put, can you please get grape jelly? I forgot to put it in the order. <laughs> oh man, people are too much. Do not put your custom requests in the delivery instructions. It is 6.04 a.m. and we're on our way to Starbucks. We're going to be getting $7.27 for 3.5 miles. Let's get on over to Starbucks. I'm starting to realize how controversial... <laughs> controversial? Controversial? <laughs> how much controversy there is in regards to acceptance rate. There is so much controversy about that, but that's the manipulation of these of these companies. They want they want to psych you out. They want to control you. They want to make sure they get those orders delivered. So they they you know this originally all started back in the day with Uber, you know Uber X and the diamond status and the they did that what is it called that Uber Pro baloney. It all started with that because they they want to get they want to be able to get the work done, and they so they they create these sort of you know competitive m metrics and they create this whole idea that we're go they're going to reward people who you know who play the game so that's a psych that's a psychology game but it ultimately it just comes down to you know your market if you see in your market that you have to play that game then you've got to play it if you want to make that money but if you if you see that it's not affecting your income then you're not going to play the game and you got to under, also understand that in every market there are slow periods so you don't you can't you can't allow yourself to suddenly change your strategies if it's slow for a little bit now if it's slow for like months if it's like it's been like three months and it is just still slow you've got to change your strategy because now that means the market has changed but yeah, but the market dynamics on a week-to-week -week basis or even even month-to-month -month basis, they fluctuate. So, you know, just do whatever makes sense to, for you guys when you're out there accepting orders. And you'll be okay because, you know, ultimately, you know, the market just plays itself out. And then you have to decide, you know, how much income do you need? Right, I have the Starbucks order. We're headed over. I believe it's like a townhouse. Uh, it is 1.6 miles away, six minutes, and it's a leave at the door. Let's head on over there and drop it off. In my video yesterday, I didn't really feel like talking a lot, I noticed. I go through moods sometimes where I just feel like talking. Other times, I just want to just do the job and just and just kind of be just in my, in my head. <laughs> So I think that's what I was doing mostly yesterday. I was like, okay, well, I'm just gonna do the job and report what I'm doing. And then I thought about being more uh, educational. I was like, oh, let me just show how people how to use the app. So when I was in Bonds the other day, I was showing people uh, the process of shopping or whatever. And I thought, well, let's do something different, why not? Especially because, you know, I didn't feel like gabbing. But uh, then today I was watching you know YouTube videos and they're just like making me think oh you know you know I need to uh, continue to let people know you know commentary about whatever's happening because that makes my videos unique it's like yeah people like to hear my commentary about whatever the heck I'm thinking so I'm like well I might as well just let my stream of consciousness flow I don't think it even affects the productivity of me making the videos because yesterday this video I think took just as long to edit as it did a longer video. And as far as the, the rendering of the video, that's not an issue for me. My computer goes real quick. <laughs> that was not a problem. And uh, and then uploading, that's not a big deal either. I just set it and I walk away, so yeah. So I figured, well, I'll, I can make the videos as short or as long as whatever's happening. Just I'm not gonna force it. It's just whatever I happen to feel at the time. So at this particular drop off, there's gonna be a guard and so you always have to make sure you have your ID with you. I don't understand.
understand why some drivers, they don't have their ID. I'm like, you have to have your driver's license when you're driving. How could you possibly not have your ID? But I hear stories all the time that delivery drivers come to these gated communities and they have to turn around because they don't have their ID. But that's crazy to me. I don't know what's happening with the world or why people are so, you know, laissez-faire with, you know, with the law. I'm like, it's the law. You have to carry your ID with you when you're driving. Coming up on the drop off. Just have to put my navigation up so I don't miss it. I'm trying to multi app with DoorDash. All right, let's get this Uber Eats order dropped off. We are arriving. We are here. when other people do this job they have like a, a speech that they say when they drop off the order but I can't say anything because I always worry that I'm gonna disturb the customer like they're I always think that like they're on the other side of the door or they're gonna just make an appearance suddenly and I don't want to you know be making some kind of you know thank you commentary when I'm dropping off the order Although I do think it's cute. I mean, I think it's like a, a cute idea to like thank the customer, you know, when you're delivering the, the food. But at the same time, it seems kind of awkward for me. <laughs> All right, we got another Starbucks and it's 6.58 a.m. We're gonna be getting approximately $7.03 for 3.5 miles. Let's head on over to Starbucks and uh, Get, the, get that drink order. Yeah. Really liking the new sunscreen that I got. It doesn't have any white cast to it at all. It just makes my face look a little greasy, but I'll take greasy any day over that awful clown makeup I was wearing before. So this one is an aloe vera based uh, sunscreen, SPF 15, and it doesn't have any of those harsh chemicals that the other ones had. So I'm very happy with it. All right, well, we got a second order that just came in. I'll tell you about it when we get in the car. Okay, it's $6.49 for one more mile, so it's not bad at all. We just gotta wait because it just came in, so the order won't be ready for a while, but I'm just hanging out. Well, I have both orders now, and we're gonna go to the first one that's seven minutes away, 2.3 miles. It's a house and it's a leave at the door. Let's go drop it off. It was up at about 2.30 a.m. this morning. And I was making black black bean burgers. <laughs> I must have made almost a dozen of them. And I, I had run out. And I wanted to make sure I had them in stock. So, so even though it was super early in the morning, I was like, well, this is my only time to really have the time to start doing it. But it requires an entire onion and like three cloves of garlic to make the recipe. And so the house just reeks of onions and garlic. And even now that I have coffee in the car, I can still smell the garlic and onions. <laughs> At first I thought, did I not bathe this morning? And I was like, no, wait a minute. I, I took a shower this morning. And I was like, oh, it's from what I, what I was cooking. I was cooking all, the, all those black bean burgers. <laughs> Looks like both deliveries are in McDonald Ranch. So I don't know the address for the second drop off, but we have to just hope that it's not in a second gate uh, area because we don't know the address. So worst case scenario, if it is, we've got to exit the community and then re-enter again in order to get the code to get into the second gate. It's crazy how these places are like that. They have a guard and yet they need a second, a secondary gate inside their community. It's like, they want the, the super rich want to keep the rich out of their community. Just a head turn right on Tampier's Drive.
turn right on Tangiers Drive, then drop off on the left. That was a success, successful delivery, and now we're on our way to the second drop-off, which is two minutes away, 0.7 miles. It's a house. It's a leave at the door. All right, let's go get it dropped off. We're still in the McDonald Ranch community. Just ahead, turn right on Cypress and, Manor Drive. And it doesn't look like we're going to need a gate code, so it looks like we're good. So it doesn't look like there's going to be any problems. Handling, right Drive, <laughs> handling this drop-off. Drop off. In fact, I think I've been to this house before. Yep, I've been to this house before. So I know where I'm at. Now just let me make sure I park safely so I don't get into any situations, any awkward situations. All right, we're here. looking at different opportunities that are coming in from Walmart Spark but they're still terrible they're still absolutely terrible offers that are not worth worth my time so I'll just keep watching it I have a feeling that it's just the same old story that I said before that you've got to park you've got to go there and park to get anything good so I don't know what's gonna happen with that more than likely it's just gonna be it's just gonna be novelty and I don't think, I think it'll be a rare moment. Like it would have to be a very high dollar amount order for me to do it. You know what I mean? It'd have to be like, you know, like above $50 
to do it. And then they just load my car car up like I'm an Amazon delivery driver. And then I would just be, I'll be bopping all over town, dropping stuff off. Sometimes I'll get orders like that from Petco. They'll give me like, uh, like eight different places I have to drop off and they'll pay me like 60, 60 or $70. Those are good, I like those ones. And, and I don't mind dropping off heavy the heavy bags of dog food. Sometimes I just like to be dramatic about dropping it off, but it doesn't bother me. I, just, I have my flatbed and I can just wheel it on down. Oh, we got the Starbucks order. It's 8 o'clock a.m. Took us a while to get down here. There's a lot of traffic today for some reason. So we're going to be going to a house to leave at the door. It's 8 minutes from here. 2.4 miles. Let's go drop it off. While we're pulling up on the house, sorry for the sun in your eyes. Every time I turn on the video camera, the sun's always in our eyes. All right, well, we're here. to read the special instructions so I was reading them at the door after I took the picture and it said ring and knock on the door and then in my mind after I rang and knocked on the door my mind added the word no in front of everything uh, uber eats four dollars and 43 cents 7.4 miles no so after I walked away I'm like did that message say no knock or ring on the door but then I remembered delivering to that house before and I have knocked and I have pushed the doorbell. So I was right. I was right the first time, but I doubted myself. That's what I always do. I always doubt myself. I hate when I do that. Ugh. All right, we got another one. It's coffee, bean, and tea leaf. The miles weren't great, but it was, it was taking me closer towards home base. So I was like, well, if I don't get anything else, it would be a fair offer. So it is seven dollars and one penny for 4.4 miles. Let's go pick up the stuff at Coffee Bean. I was getting all kinds of offers from Walmart Spark. They were they were just dumping them all into my uh, stream, into my app, and I couldn't I couldn't peruse them all in time. I was like I was getting this Uber Eats offer for the coffee bean and tea leaf, and I'm like, wow, well, I I don't have time to read. They're their information it's like information overload that they give you and it's not important information they don't put the most important information f front and center so I couldn't make a decision so all I did I didn't even reject the offers I just closed the app <laughs> I'm like I shut this app off. I'm like turn this app off so I think in the future if I'm gonna do Walmart spark I have to just peruse the offers when I'm at home or like I'm stuck in traffic, like I'm really, you know, it's really, or if it's just really slow. But if, if things are active on the other apps, they're gonna take priority because I know for the most part, 90% of the offers that Walmart Spark is gonna send me are total garbage. <laughs> have the order it's a house it's a leave at the door message me when you're here and I'll let you in the gate 
All right, I can do that. Let's get going. Seven minutes, 2.3 miles. I don't know if I said it, but this is an Uber Eats order. We're delivering an Uber Eats delivery. Let's deliver Uber Eats, everyone. I keep forgetting. I have to get used to saying it. I think it might even help the algorithm if I say more often whether or not the deliveries are DoorDash or Uber Eats. Because it doesn't know. It probably, it probably can't visually see the graphic. And also some people are just listening. They're not looking at the graphics. So they're not hearing whether or not the offer is coming from uh, what specific delivery service. So officially, everybody, this is an Uber Eats delivery. <laughs> Let's get going. It's crazy how much construction they're doing. At the top of that hill that you see in the, in the video, there are construction machines that are like leveling the land so they can build even more houses up on top of that mountain. It is so crazy. I guess now that they realize they can charge, um, you know, multi-millions of dollars per property, they're starting to realize that they need to start, you know, building more of these million dollar properties because, you know, there's tons of money to be made. It seems like that's where pretty soon all of this nature will be gone. There's just going to be nothing but a bunch of buildings. Well, the person did not respond to my messages to open the gate. And the code box is not working because I had codes, but they were not working. I think it's broken. That's why she had to click me in. So I finally had to call the customer and they answered the phone and they let me in. So we're on our way to the drop off. We're almost there. The These houses are so bizarre looking. Okay, let's see which crazy house I'm going to. I think it's this next one coming up. It is. It's this one right here. Okay, let's do it. Next order is from Uber Eats. <laughs> Uber Eats. Five dollars and fifty cents. Two point three miles. Let's head out over to Tropical Smoothie. Front door was locked, so I had to come through the drive-through. Hopefully, the order will be ready right away because this order is not a good order. It's only five dollars and fifty cents. Okay, to get for Kim. Yep, that's right. Go, the strawberry in the bag for All you. Right, great. First one. All right. And here's the second one for you. Great. Thank Have you. Have a good one. You too. <clears throat> All right. Let's see where we're going. It could have at least given me a drink holder. <laughs> uh, let's see. We're going to be going to a house. Let's get over there. Any special instructions? No. Oh, please ring the doorbell. All right, we'll, we'll ring the doorbell. Let's, let's see if we can get through here safely without causing a major incident. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> we're driving like the British. We're on the left side of the road. <laughs> Man, when traffic gets crazy right there, you gotta make up your own rules to get out of that damn place. I have to say, Uber Eats is on fire today. I haven't gotten, I don't think, not a single DoorDash that was worthy of accepting. And all day yesterday, that's all we got was DoorDash. It's just so weird how they flip, flip flop back and forth. I'm not sure exactly why that happened. We're pulling up to the house. I think it said to ring the doorbell, right? Yeah, please ring the doorbell. All right, let's ring a ding ding. I think I'm gonna need both hands to do this. I'll try to film. I'll do my best. I got the food. I got one drink. And I got the other.
your pickup at Lunchbox, Southeastern Avenue. Well, we got another one. We got a uh, Uber Eats, another Uber Eats offer that we've accepted for Munchbox for $7.06 for 3.4 miles. We're on a roll this morning. The, 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 the orders, just, the good ones keep, keep on a coming. <laughs> the hits just keep on a coming. Okay, while well, I have the Uber Eats Munchbox order, <laughs> the Uber Eats Munchbox order, and I am going to be traveling with the Uber Eats Munchbox order <laughs> to uh, a house. Oh no, it's not a house, it's, it's an apartment, and it is uh, eight minutes away, 2.7 miles. I don't know if there's special instructions, I have to focus on the road for a second. So meet at the door and it looks like it might be a bit no it's an apartment because it says building and a, a high numbered building and that's always a sign of an apartment complex and when you get a number that high it's got to be an apartment complex and so it's just a meet at the door and uh let's see if i don't run over this rock and this pizza box on the road okay we bypassed that all right let's get on over there and i uh, drop this off notice today i haven't done any shopping orders which is really unusual for a, a Monday. Normally, on a day like today, I would get nonstop people wanting me to go to Albertsons to pick up all kinds of random stuff for them, or I'd be going to like Sprouts. But no, it's just it's just been all restaurant deliveries and especially a lot of coffee. Maybe people are just hung over from partying on Cinco de Mayo when they need their caffeine to get their day going, and they ate so much Mexican greasy stuff on Sunday that they don't want any groceries, I guess. I don't know. Well, this person, they're, they're ordering Munchbox and that's greasy. So that kills that theory. next to the door so the so her dog was almost at eye level when I handed her the food she finally answered the door finally and her dog was like one of these crazy barking dogs and I thought I thought this dog could just bite my face off why does she have a, a setup on her at the entrance to her door that allows a dog to be at eye level when somebody comes to the door it doesn't even make any sense understand people they do not know how to control their animals it's like if you know a delivery driver is coming to your house you put the dog in another room and you close the door so that you can get your food and the driver doesn't have to worry about about getting his face eaten off <laughs> people are too much okay our next delivery will be a mcdonald's and it's from uber eats <laughs> it's an uber eats offer five dollars and 36 cents for 3.5 miles. Let's head on over to McDonald's. It is going to be a, um, wait, I haven't verified the order. Order verified, completing pickup. We're going to be going, it looks like a house. Yep, we're going to be going, it's five minutes away, 1.4 miles. Let's head on over there. The bag was so light, I thought there was nothing in it. It says that they ordered uh, one order of hotcakes, and the hotcakes only. It says hotcakes only. And then they ordered hash, uh, one hash brown. And that's all. No drink. That's no. There's nothing in there. It's just air. And I don't understand. It's like maybe they have some kind of dietary issue where they it limits them on what they can eat. So they just want to have the experience of the 
the flavor of McDonald's. It's like, if I ordered McDonald's, I'm going to order a lot of stuff. I want to enjoy the McDonald's, you know. If, if I ate McDonald's, right now I can't eat any McDonald's, but if I did, I'd order a lot. This is the right house. We're going to be going to McDonald's again. I th yeah, it's the same McDonald's we were just... No, wait. Is it the same McDonald's? Hold on. It, I don't know if it's the same McDonald's or not. It doesn't say just yet. But it's $5.50, 2.9 miles. Let's go to wherever this McDonald's is. It looks like it's the same one. All right, let's go to McDonald's. Can you see in the video, look how high up they're building the houses already. I mean, they're already almost at the very top for the mountains. Now, I guess they can't build at the very top because there's transmitter towers up there. But it's crazy to think that someday all those mountains up there are going to be all covered in houses. And I don't understand if there's like a water shortage, how are we supposed to support, how's the infrastructure support, supposed to support all those homes? I have the DoorDash McDonald's delivery in the car. We're going six minutes away. It's two miles. It looks like a house and that's a leave at my door. All right, let's go. see look all the construction that's going on in the drive-thru look how packed it is you don't want to be dealing with all that drive through madness that's too stressful that's why they leave you see look at all the construction vehicles it is crazy busy well we have the mcdonald's order from Uber Eats and let's go drop it off. It looks like it is a, what is it? <laughs> I don't even know what it is, but they put, can you please get grape jelly? I forgot to put it in the order. <laughs> oh man, people are too much. Do not put your custom requests in the delivery instructions. I don't see them until I'm driving away. What is wrong with people? Oh my god. People are just too much. Well, at any rate. Turn right onto 
they, they better give us way. they better give us all of our money is all i have to say i oh it just makes me so mad when people do that because it, it just adds to the stress of the job about whether or not you're going to get the, the the full amount that they said you you know you're going to get paid it's just irritating you know because they're going to be like where's my great family i put it in the instructions <laughs> And it's a meet at the door, too. So they're probably going to ask me, did you get grape jelly? <laughs> oh, people. All right, well, I have some good news about the grape jelly. On the bag, it says that they included two grape jelly packets. So should they ask me, I'll say that uh, it's already in the bag. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And this is a business. And they didn't even bother to put the business name. They just put meat at the door. It would be nice if you would have said that it is P.F. Chang's or something. So that way I would know. All right, well, the person just walked right up to my car and got it. It was a P.F. Chang employee. And I guess they weren't in the mood for P.F. Chang's. They wanted McDonald's. <laughs> I guess. Oh my gosh. Well, now we're going heading back to the secret lair. I'm getting close to home base so I think I'm gonna go take my lunch and then I guess I will work for another hour maybe after I'm done with lunch I'll see how I feel all right it's uh, 10 36 a.m. we're on our way to 7-eleven it's a DoorDash offer and uh, we're gonna be getting six dollars and fifty cents for 3.6 miles and here we are, we're already at 7-Eleven. I just gotta turn this car around and then we'll go pick it up. Okay, we have the DoorDash 7-Eleven order and it's gonna be nine minutes away, 3.1 miles. It's a house and it's a leave at my door. Let's get going. that's gonna do it it's almost 11 a.m. and I might as well just get started on working at, on the video so I think we work for about three and a half hours today so take a look at the amount of money we made and then look at the hourly rate and I can tell you the miles now we, we drove uh, approximately 44 miles and we got 62.4 miles to the gallon. So all in all, it was a good day. It was normal. It was a normal day and nothing too unusual happened. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you again on the next one.